Welcome to the advanced tutorial on how to use the Send Out Cards mobile app. When you click on the app, you can decide whether you want to do a photo card or pick from one of our other categories. If you do a photo card, you simply click on it and choose whether you want vertical or horizontal. And then you can choose whether you want to do a two panel, a three panel, a big card, or a postcard. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as two panel and hit create. Now you can click to add your photograph and it lets you either take a picture on the spot choose from your photo library, or choose from your send out card pictures. I'm going to choose from my photo library. You can go ahead and select from your camera, choose which picture you would like, and simply load it onto the card. You can also use your fingers to stretch it, move it around, etc. Now you'll notice some features at the top. You can select inside top to type on the top part of your card, or inside bottom to type on the bottom, and you can also use this template feature at the top to choose whether you want to add photos with text or any combination of such. So you can choose whatever template you would like and you can add another picture and you can go ahead and type your text. You can also click on your phone's microphone and speak your message. It was so wonderful to see you, exclamation point. Can't wait to visit again soon, period. New line, Jules. Now you want to hold your finger down and select all in an iPhone or drag to highlight with a droid and you can choose from the selection at the top by clicking on the three dots. You can choose the font you would like, and we have so many different fonts to choose from, all different ones, including your own handwriting as one of the choices. So I'm gonna go ahead and select one, and I can also click on the A to change the size of the font just by dragging my finger. I could left justify, center it, or right justify. I can click on this color palette right here to change the color of the font and move my finger wherever I would like and simply select. I can also, instead of typing my name, I can add my signature inside the card by simply clicking on that S and selecting the one that I want. And when I'm done, I hit the check mark and it simply puts it right inside my card. Now I can also customize the back if I have the custom brand manager, which is an amazing way to have your own branding on the backs of the cards. And I can also change that template by clicking on the templates up above and it will show me my different custom backs that I can use that I've already designed and I can choose the one that I want in that moment. When I'm ready, I hit add to cart and there's my card. Now I can also add gifts. So we have hundreds of gifts to add by clicking on all gifts and you can filter your gifts by clicking on the three dots at the top to choose the different category. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the two pack of brownies and hit add to cart and check out. Now it pops up with my return address and I can hit continue. And for my recipient, I can simply click on the plus sign, select a recipient from my send out cards address book, or I could type somebody new, or I could pull somebody from my phone. I'm going to go ahead and search for the name, select and hit the check mark and continue. This screen allows you to choose the shipping date or just simply hit continue. And then finally it shows me my total for my points and expense and I can simply hit check out. And this card will be printed, stuffed, stamped and mailed along with the gift and taken to the post office the very next morning.